All right. This is the freight elevator at Moody Tower at University of Houston in Houston, Texas. And before I put my camera inside of it, you may notice they actually totally replaced this entire elevator cab. Do you recognize this elevator? As you can see, they used to have like only a single fluorescent light fixture until when they totally replaced the cabs. They now, I don't remember seeing the ceiling have two fluorescent light fixtures because the last time I came here, it only had one. There's your sign. And if I, don't, if I also recall, they used to have a directional lantern of, of somewhere, but they took that away. All right, so with that being said, you see my tripod right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my camera on that tripod and the nice gentleman who let me record this is gonna call from the stairs. So let's write, here we go. All right, now the camera is set up on the tripod. I finally get a much better video of this elevator. All right, I'll be right back. go. You can also see the gate is new too. All right, now for the second trip, we are going to face the back view, which is the rear door of this elevator, which I don't think I have done this before. So this is going to be the first time. You may think that they walled off the rear side, but Think again as this elevator moves. Okay, I'm ready now. No, you wait, not yet. Finally got a much more better video in full wide angle format because the last time I came here I had to put my camera on the cart because I didn't have my tripod with me but finally I got a tripod this time so that way I can get a much more better view of this elevator looking out through the gates. So we'll get one last cab view and we'll close this thing up. 
or you see right here, that's your door mechanism right there. And that right there is actually your retiring cam. So basically on most freight elevators, when the elevator's getting ready to depart, this tab right here shoots in, which this roller comes out locking the outside door. So when the elevator car is not present, the door from the outside will not open until the elevator car is on the floor. And once the elevator car reaches its destination, the cam will push back out, releasing the roller to unlock the outside door. Okay, we're gonna get one last caveat and this gentleman needs to put the things back into the elevator, but a huge thanks to him for allowing me to get this video. And please note, the reason I did not ride this elevator is because as you see, there are no buttons inside. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Even though this elevator did indeed get fully modernized, I mean, the call button seems to be still the exact same, but other than that, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and that'll be it. All right. The guy just already put the stuff inside the elevator and it just already left. But anyways, in case you guys didn't see, I forgot to show you that in case if you didn't know, they actually replaced the outside hoisting door as well. As you can see, it used to have the window on that side right there, but they now have the window on this side. And the doors are still the exact same, still EMS. See, that's your newer logo right there. And that used to be a strap right there, but unfortunately it got ripped off. And they even have the flaps around the corner ends of both sides. When it was original, it was not like that. But anyways, for real though, that'll be it. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. That's it.